हे गाइज वेलकम बैक एवरीबडी होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइज दिस इज यूजर डिमांड वीडियो वन ऑफ माई सब्सक्राइबर हैज रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू मेक वन वीडियो ऑन ट्रांजिट पॉइंट और ट्रांजिट राउटर यू कैन से लाइक वॉट इज अ ट्रांजिट राउटर वॉट इज अ ट्रांजिट पॉइंट एंड ट्रांजिट पॉइंट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म्स इन कंप्यूटर नेटवर्किंग सो इफ यू आर ऑल्सो वन हु डोंट नो वॉट इज ट्रांजिट पॉइंट देन दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू guys today in this video we are going to discuss all about transit point so make sure you will watch this video till the end now without wasting our time let's begin see if you will ask to me praful what is transit point so definition of transit point can be a transit point in a network refers to a router or a device it can be a router or it can be a layer 3 device right like layer 3 switch so a device that forwards data packet between other routers or between different networks like you can see in this scenario this is my network right i have three router router 1 router 2 and router 3 guys if pc1 which is connected with router 1 want to communicate with pc2 which is connected with router 3 if pc1 want to communicate with pc2 they have to communicate via router number 1 means any device connected with router 1 want to communicate with a device connected with router 3 have to communicate via router number 2 so router 2 is nothing but transit point in this scenario right router 2 is acting as a transit point router 2 is ha actually handling two types of traffic they are directly connected network also directly connected means 12 network and 23 network maybe there is one lan as well as it is managing other part of network right like indirectly connected network so router 2 is responsible for making communication possible between connected network on router 1 and router 3 so here also you can read like what is transit point if a device connected to router 1 want to communicate with a device connected to router 3 the data packet would be travel from router 1 to router 3 via router number 2 definitely if a device connected with router 1 want to communicate with a device connected with router 3 they have to communicate via router number 2 so in this scenario router 2 act as an transit point because it forward data between router 1 and router right don't worry i will give you real time example of transit point guys after watching this video you will have clear understanding on transit point or on transit router so if anyone will ask you what is transit point you can explain even in interview right now let a router that forward traffic between other routers or network in your example in my example router 2 is a transit router because it forward traffic between router 1 and router 3 which type of router router 1 and router 2 are which type of device router 1 is or router 3 is that is fine router 2 is transit router guys router 1 and router 3 these two routers are edge router you can say boundary router right so i am not only going to explain you transit router but we'll discuss more types of router as well like edge router edge router means your boundary router right last router so router 1 and router 3 are border router or you can say non transit router right non transit router so you can read the definition of edge router a router located at the boundary of network that connect internal network to external network like in this scenario internal network is this one for r1 internal network is this one 10.1.1.0/24 10.1.1.0/24 is the internal network and router 1 is connecting external network as well right so router 1 is your edge router router 1 is what we can say edge router a router located at the boundary of the network that connect internal network to the external network edge router typically manage traffic entering and leaving the network but do not forward traffic between other routers within the network in my example router 1 and router 3 can be considered as edge router see guys router 1 is going to manage traffic which which type of traffic which will enter in my network in my internal network 
or which will leave my internal network router 2 is not going to perform routing for other routers right it is not going to forward traffic to any router number 4 so router 1 is the edge router because router 1 is connected with your internal network and it is connecting external network like this one done in the same way router 3 is my is router and both router 1 and router 3 is managing traffic which is entering in my network or traffic which is leaving my network that's it so hope now edge router is also clear edge router is the router boundary router in your network and guys the third type of is non transit router see router 1 and router 3 both are non transit router as well right these two are edge router as well as non transit router non transit router means a router that does not forward traffic between other routers so this router is not involved in the transit of packets between different networks but focus on local traffic like r1 send and receive traffic from or two router number two send or receive traffic to or from router number two either it will receive traffic from router number two or it will send traffic to router number two right then guys is router we can say either is router or non transit router router one is edge router or non transit router then router number two router two connects both router router one and router three so router 2 forward traffic between router 1 and router 3 so that's why we are saying router 2 is the transit router now router 3 router 3 connects to devices again within its local network and send and receive traffic to from R2 to and from R2 so that's why we can say router 3 is the is router or again transit router what can be the real time example of transit router right so see the real time example consider a company which company any company let's say xyz company has one headquarter let's say in india right a company xyz company has headquarter in india right india and guys branch offices this company have two branch office at let's say different location r1 r2 let's say in us and r3 let's say in australia right and these all branches are connected together with the help of let's suppose internet so see your headquarter router means router in india is the core router where we have multiple departments and we can separate each department with the help of vlan so router one is going to manage complete routing table right complete routing right or router one will have all network information of us as well as australia so again see router one is responsible for communication between us and australia right whenever us branch and australia branch want to communicate with each other they have to communicate via router number one via headquarter india router this is actually hub and spoke topology this is my hub router and this one s1 s2 spoke one spoke two right so spoke one spoke two can communicate with each other via hub router so guys here router one is my what transit router and router two and router three are my is router is is or you can say non transit router so see headquarter will have full routing capabilities so that's why we can say what headquarter router is the transit point for internal network then branch office like router one connects local network and headquarter right this router is connecting headquarter and local network so this route router is non-transit router right or you can say is router in the same way router three router three is wait router 3 connects their local network and headquarter connects local network and headquarter so router number 3 is non transit router so, how these link these all branches are connected together with the help of wan link right 
so when link connects headquarter to both branches so in this scenario headquarter router is transit router handling traffic between branch 1 and branch 2 what i am saying headquarter headquarter is the transit router who is handling traffic between branch 1 and branch 2 so that's why what we can say headquarter router is the transit router in my scenario now branch office 1 and branch office 2 see branch office 1 router and branch office 2 router are edge router or you can say what non transit routers only handling local traffic and traffic to or from headquarter right traffic to or from headquarter so whatever routers are managing their local network and managing traffic from their neighbor router right like branch office router is managing traffic from headquarter so that type of router will consider as guys non transit router now i am expecting transit router and non transit router is clear to you right so transit say i have one scenario like this r1 r2 and r3 again x network here and here i have y network so see guys router 1 is managing x network and their transit router network right it is receiving and forwarding traffic from and to to router number 2 so router 1 is your edge router or non transit router router 2 router 2 is managing both network right both other routers managing other routers like router 1 and router 2 as well as other network like x network and y network so router 2 is your transit router so router who is managing other networks are considered as transit router and again router 3 is managing y network and the network from and to to the transit router so again router 3 is your is router right so this is the concept of transit router guys and non transit router or you can say is router right so this was a request from my user and now i hope this video is helpful for you if yes then guys please hit on like button if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe if you are looking for any live training paid course then guys we are launching a free patch of ccna 200301 from 10th of august you can enroll yourself and uh, you can take your networking skill to the next level within two months that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye guys we'll meet soon in next video